Hello everyone, it's John back again in my car. And it's morning time, so I'm going to do some breakfast food review. Now one place that is really good, some people think, at breakfast, on the go, is Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts has a few new, what they're calling, snack items, uh, as well as the pumpkin spice latte is back. So, for you, I'm going to review a couple of these things. Let's just start out with the first thing that's close to me. So you've seen these uh, morning wraps they have, but now they have steak and cheese wraps. Look at that steak. This is high definition steak. This is actually what it looks like. It's just blurry in real life, just so you know. If, if you really can't see it, but like it's kind of like burnt and dry looking on the end there. Maybe it's better than metal. Let's give it a try. It's three dollars at my location for a two pack of steak and cheese wraps. You can see it's American cheese. I'm not sure what cut of steak this is. It looks kind of like briskety. It tastes like a. If you hydrated some beef jerky. Or if, uh, have you ever taken a, any kind of cut of steak and reheated in the microwave? And it came out way too done. That's what this one tastes like. Like overdone steak cooked in the microwave. Or rehydrated beef jerky. Either way. Not the best. I, th I think I prefer the ham and cheese roll-ups better. Um, This one's going to get a 6.5 out of 10. The cheese kind of saves it. Makes it moist cheesy. Next up we have, this is the stuffed everything bagel bite or mini bagel. I think they call them bagel minis actually. And this two piece bagel minis everything is $2.79. So you can see they come in plain as well, but they have everything seasoning on top. And they're supposed to be stuffed with cream cheese. Let's try. The cream cheese is doing that thing, you know, when you get dairy too hot. Sometimes it's like curdly or the liquids and the solids start separating. It's just not as smooth and creamy as it is out of the fridge. I like the idea of this, the premise of this. I just don't think a heated up cream cheese is the best idea. If somehow you could heat up the outer part, but keep the cream cheese in the middle relatively cold, you might have something working there, but as is, it's like a 7 out of 10. Next up, we have the snack and bacon. I've had the snack and bacon before, but now it is of the maple variety. Look how dark lines on that one. Super crunchy. I'm not sure if that's 
meat that I'm tasting that's crunchy or it's like some kind of sugary glazy shell that's crunchy. Either way, I enjoy it. It's good stuff. The snack and bacon was $2.49. So far the cheapest thing I got and the most enjoyable. By the way, it's definitely the sugary glaze on the outside that, that makes it so hard because it's almost like baking glass. Like I said, I still like it. Last but not least, pumpkin spice latte. We've all had it before at some point. Yeah, pumpkin spice. They didn't ask me if I wanted whipped cream, but all the pictures showed whipped cream. I didn't get whipped cream. Kind of disappointed that. And that was uh, four dollars and nine cents for a medium. Clearly, the winner here is the bacon. That bacon's a solid eight point eight out of ten. Pumpkin spice latte. It's basically drinking a melted milkshake there. Very sweet. It's probably a, a 7 out of 10 for sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. All the new snacking items from Duncan as well as the new seasonal flavored latte. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Until then. See you later. Bye.